Just picked up another one. GTI Sea-Doo 96 model. It was full of water, so I think the engine might be locked up. But it's been sitting for a couple of years. Uh, practically given to me to get it off this lot up here at a stereo shop. Uh, one of the YouTubers uh, told me about it. He works up here and uh, here in town. And he was like, they just want it gone. So he's in there writing me up a bill of sale. And, uh, and we're going to pull it onto the house. Fairly complete. Pipes unhooked. I think they said it quit running on them, but you can see the pipe is just laying in here. And here's a battery in there. So it's a 96 GTI. So we'll get it back to the shop and we'll do a little another video on it go ahead and get it home and uh mess with it so here it is this is the 96 Sea-Doo I got it to the house and uh I'm gonna do a quick uh walk around it right quick This is the GTI version. Let's see, can we get, I guess that's back first, this camera will go. Uh, but anyway, like I say, it's all complete. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it yet. Uh, like I say, I still got the, I still got the, SP to check out, but I know that it did have water in it. It was kind of full of water down in here. It's got a battery in it. So, but it's all complete. Let's see what's in the front. Let's turn you guys around there for a minute. So, So let's see what's down in here. I don't have my camera today. I just got the phone. I forgot to charge it up. But let's see. Whoa, there's some lug nuts. Turn the light on here. Got some lug nuts, and some rope, valve stem, fire extinguisher, pack of new ports. Oh, what's that? I'm scared to reach in there. That is the lanyard. Oh man, this is a lifesaver here. You gotta have this thing here. And it says Sea Dew. And she goes right there. So that's the lanyard for it. I was hoping that it was in here somewhere. At least they were smart enough to leave it. But anyway, the story goes on it that uh, they had two of them. One of them was a wave. Uh, Raider, and uh, they messed this one up, as they say, and then they bought the Wave Raider, and then uh, they just threw this one in the back of the shop, and it just set. So the seats got a little tail right here, kind of cracked, weathered, but uh, overall, the lights work on the trailer. All the lights work, which was good because I had to pull it home tonight. And uh, it's got the mirrors. Usually these are broken, but these are intact. Uh, I think it's got the. I don't know if I can close this. Messing up here. There we go. It's got, actually, it's got the digital readout on it and the speedometer. So. Let's look down in here. Now we got some light. It's all there, all complete. I don't see no wall's nest or nothing. 
Uh, it's got oil in the oiler, so there's no telling why it don't run. It could be locked up. Drain plugs missing, which I can come up with one of those. Uh, you can see up in the pump there. It's got some leaves. So anyway, we'll try and get a battery on this one and see will it turn over. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can get it to turn over and possibly uh, see if it's got compression or anything like that. Um, might be a lucky winner on this one. I don't know. I mean, you get people uh, messing with these things and they don't bypass the oiler. They don't... Uh, check the oil in the oil pump, I mean the oil tank, and uh, they seize them up and put them up, so, but hey, for free, I mean, uh, who cares, <laughs> the trailer's worth something, I mean, but anyway, I'm gonna see what I can do tonight, if I feel like messing with it tonight, I'll, uh, I will continue this session, if not, we'll get to it, uh, Sometime this weekend. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a short test on this thing. I'm just itching to see whether it even turn over. So, got the camera fired up. Uh, I'm going to uh, get you guys set up somehow here. I had to let the camera charge up, but so what we're gonna do is I got the coil wires off here. I'm gonna take these plugs out and let's see uh, if there's anything in there. Hopefully, it's not full of water. like this is a 720 plugs don't look too bad look at that don't appear to be wet down in there let's get a flashlight see can we look down in the spark plug hole fairly dry in the spark plug hole so let me get the jumper box and we'll hook to this battery and see can we get this thing to spin over I'm gonna squirt a little uh, lubricant down in there just in case uh, it is stuck that it, cylinders won't be dry so let me get all that together and uh, then we'll try and spin it over So, I have the um, boost pack ready, and what I'm going to do is spray a little PB blaster uh, down in here. Talk about missing the whole, uh, kind of lost a straw earlier, just a little lubricant. Won't hurt it. Okay, now let's hook up the jumper cable. Let's see here. We got ground. Ground there. And we got hot. Hopefully my booster cable booster box is up. We got power. Okay, moment of truth. Here we go. And we got nothing. Let me get a better ground. Oh, I heard something beep. 
I don't think I'm getting a good ground. Heard a beep. I got something on the dash, the battery light. Whoa! Did you hear that? This sucker turns over. Just watch. And it sounds like it's got compression, boys. It sounds like it's got compression for real. So let's get a compression gauge and put on it and let's see what the compression is reading. Wow, I didn't expect that. This is awesome. Let me get my compression gauge. So, got the compression gauge right here. We're going to hook it up, see what kind of compression we got. Man, this is, this is unbelievable. I was going to wait to this weekend, but I got the XP that I'm going to uh, try and get running. So I said, what the hell, let's see what this one does. Sorry about the glare, it's kind of bright in here. So let's see, here we go. Look at that, 150 PSI. Look at that. So that's one cylinder, just listen. <laughs> Man, what do you mean this motor ain't no good? And it's been sitting for years. I'm surprised it's not locked up. But uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. It's, it's got compression. My, my boost pack is getting weak. But it has compression and I think it will run. It's got so much compression it's pulling my boost pack down. But I say she will run, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, I really need to get a battery in and check it for fire. So let me get a battery right quick. And uh, we'll check it for fire and uh, see if it's firing. Maybe it's got a firing issue. Okay. Let me go get that. All right. So now I got a good battery in it. Let's see if she got spark. I'll try and get you guys close up there to it. We'll see. Uh, let's see. What can I put you in? In the dark there. Okay, let's see. It's got fire. I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to get close without getting electric. It does have fire. I see a little fire. And she spins over good. So I say, how about we spray something in the plug holes and just see what it even hit off. Uh, and, um, then we'll confirm that, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I can spray it in this little hole in the air breather there. So let's just put the plugs back in. Motor sounds good to me. i tell you what, while we got a good battery, let's recheck this uh, other cylinder since we got it spinning over a little faster now. Sorry guys. All right. Let's check this other one for compression. Let's see if I can get right somewhere. I'll tell you what, I'll just hold it and you guys look at it. If I can keep it straight. to keep you straight there but I gotta hit the start button so let's see what we got oh man that sucker goes way up there to 150 boys look at that wow this thing has got compression out the yin yang 
So I say let's get some uh, get some uh, starting fluid, shoot it in the car, and uh, we'll see with a crank. All right, folks, got some starter fluid. I'm gonna spray it in the hole here. Here goes nothing. And it runs. It really runs. So that means now we just gotta get fuel to it. It's loud because the pipe is off of it down in there. But she does fire up and run. Wow, this has had to be the best uh, freebie, let me set my phone down for my monitoring, had to be the best uh, freebie jet ski ever. So it's got compression, it's got fire, so now we know that it'll run. So next we'll be uh, getting some fuel to it and uh, get it to run on its own fuel and we'll uh, hook the exhaust back up and get some water to it. And uh, I think she's going to be a winner. So uh, we'll play around with that later. So thank you to the new subscribers who subscribed this week and the last couple days if I didn't thank you. And uh, like I said, there's more coming up. There's more projects, jet skis, motorcycles, whatever. So to hit that like button, share it with some people you know. And uh, we'll holler at y'all next time. Take it easy now.